Hi, in this video we're going to show uh, Linux on the RC2014. So if you viewed my previous video, I've done CPM on uh, my RC2014. Um, I was contacted by one of my viewers, uh, William, who said he's got this uh, distribution called Fusix, which runs on uh, Zeta 2, and I should give it a shot. So I did, I got that working on the Zeta 2, and then I wrote a uh, SIO and an ACIA uh, serial driver for it and got it working on the RC2014. So let's try out the RC2014. Um, I'm not gonna be introducing any new hardware in this video because that was already covered in the CPM video. I'll link that video here uh, if you would like to uh, view the uh, CPM video and learn about the flash ROM and RAM board. Uh, otherwise, let's look at the experimental setup. So I have my RC2014 here. This is, uh, it's, it's got my VFD display. Um, Way in the back is my SIO2 board. Here's my RAM or and uh, flash ROM board with a ZIF socket so I could swap the ROM out easily. Got kind of a souped up CPU board in there. Maybe I'll talk about that in another video. Uh, the floppy controller based on the WD37C65. And this board here is the uh, VFD driver board. There's an FTDI adapter over here which lets me uh, plug in a console and a floppy drive connected to the floppy controller. So I have uh, burned the Fusix distribution into uh, the flash ROM. Let's try turning it on. Okay, so let's uh, try powering it on, see what happens. I'll switch this on. Uh, you can see it came up on the uh, VFD as well as coming up on the terminal. And just like uh, ROM WBW, this Fusix distribution does have a ROM disk and the ROM disk will have some useful programs located on it. So let's uh, uh, use our boot dev as the uh, ROM disk. Let's log in as root. If we look at where we are, we're in an empty directory, just slash root. Uh, not surprising, you're a typical Linux user. Looking back here, we've got an array of typical Linux directories. You know, if you look in slash Etsy, stuff in there, Etsy, message of the day, Etsy, init tab, tells it to run terminals and stuff, in slash bin, there's a bunch of programs, so let's see what all we've got, so there's some adventures, let's try mist01, no, uh, north or south, I can see, now let's take the cloak, leaves. John, I can't take the leaves, you know. By a stream, let's go north. Path, um, attack, wolf. Yeah, it's with my bare hands. Kick, wolf. Uh, take, wolf. Can't do anything with the wolf. Uh, south. West. North. Cabin, enter, cabin, go, cabin, I'm in a cabin with a floor, uh, take barrel, take rank. Okay, I mean, it's your average adventure game. I could sit here all day doing this, but uh, quit. No. Uh, what else is in slash bin? So there's what does print env do? That should show us the environment. Yes, yeah, so there's some Unix variables. Should have ps shows us some processes running. Um, yeah, the init process ssh and ps itself, which we just ran. And what else do we have around here? Check the date. Um, my RC2014 doesn't presently have a clock in it, so the date is fixed at zero. So if we look at the devices, um, there's lots of devices listed here. There's the TTY devices. Um, so if we were to do a uh, DDIF equals slash, yeah, it's the message of the day, OF equals dev TTY1. That should display the message of the day on the terminal, I would think. Yeah, welcome to Fusic. So that, you know, we can run DD, we can use the devices. Dev zero. 
see it's uh, printing a bunch of nulls to my VFD, but they don't show up as anything on the terminal. Control C works to interrupt stuff as expected. Um, dev mem, that ought to be interesting. That ought to be a bunch of uh, memory. Yeah, see, so here we're just printing out random stuff into memory. Um, we don't actually have a hard drive hooked up, but we do have the floppy drive in there. So let's cat dev fd0. And we will find that it uh, locked up. And uh, I actually knew this was going to happen because I spent a couple days diagnosing why this happens. And uh, the reason is that we don't have a timer board installed in the RC2014. Um, this is a multitasking operating system. It has lots of times where it will just put a process to sleep while it waits for an event to happen. Uh, that's happening right now in the floppy driver. It told the motor to spin up and then it's going to wait for a timer tick and check it again, but we don't have a timer so it never wakes up. So what we will do is we will install, I covered this uh, some time ago, uh, many videos back, uh, a CTC board. And the CTC board will generate interrupts and uh, those interrupts will wake up our sleeping processes. So let's shut this down. Plug in the CTC board. Um, RD0, RO. Root. Now if we cat dev FD0, um, we can see it is printing out stuff that's on the floppy. So let's uh, let's format our floppy. That's MKFS dev FD zero. Uh, let's do sixty four two eight eight zero. Zeroing I block. So this is going to take a while. Okay, so that was a good 10 minutes, and now it's uh, doing something else. It's building a free list, it's writing its uh, initial inode, its super block, and it's done. So it took a truly long time to format that floppy, but it's uh, now had its uh, file system created. Mount dev fd0 on slash mount. So it does uh, issue an error here, but this is uh, not actually an error in mounting the floppy. I think this is trying to update the Etsy uh, mtab file, which is the list of mount points. It's on a read-only file system right now, so it can't update that file. But if we look in slash mount, that's now the floppy. So let's copy some stuff. Bin slash adv. 01 slash mount. And there's some seek noise and stuff coming from the floppy. So we've copied three of the uh, the adventure games to the floppy drive. So let's look in slash mount. We've got our three adventure games. Let's run. To make sure to tell it to run out of the current directory. Adventure O two. 
Lots of floppy seek noise. Store safe game, no. Eh, flight of stairs for bring treasures here. What do we want to do? Take sneakers. Wear sneakers. Beyond your power to wear sneakers. This, this is the problem with early adventure games. Uh, take crackers. Eat crackers. Can we go somewhere? Go stairs. Look at the can we look at the books? Uh, take books. There's a strange sound. Oh, a bookcase with secret passage. Go passage. West. Maybe we need to go to the east. Pirate's duffel bag. Uh, opposite of light is unlight. Sure. Well, okay. You know, here is uh, you know another adventure game. Let's not play again. Uh, yeah. So with that uh, counter timer board, the floppy is uh, working fine. This worked out pretty good. I mean, it gave me what feels like a you know fairly complete Linux environment. Okay, so we've done the demo using my fancy RC2014 in the acrylic case with the VFD display and the SIO board and the counter timer. Now let's see uh, if we can do it with my stock RC2014. Uh, so here we have um, the stock kit. It's got the basic RAM, um, CPU, and a serial I.O. board and clock. If we turn it on, uh, we'll find it's... Uh, running basic as expected so to convert it over to Linux we need to do away with the RAM board the ROM board this is the flash ROM and RAM board put it in place of the standard RAM and ROM so we've left back here the standard uh, 6850 ACIA serial board as well as the original uh, CPU and clock. So if we turn this back on, there it is, it's running Linux. So, and it works just like the other RC2014 works, so ls slash bin. And just like before, we could do something like run ADV03, one of the adventure games, or sort of game, no. Um, Mission Impossible, yeah. So, um, no, I don't want to play again. Uh, so working just like before, and so the one issue that you would have with this um, using this uh, 6850 board is that it uses uh, Z80 interrupt mode one, and that's not compatible with the counter timer board that I used in the earlier RC2014 where we used the floppy drive. So if you want to run Linux, I would suggest you probably uh, would want to add not only the flash ROM and RAM board, but also add the SIO board and the CTC board. That, that way you would get the timer interrupts, uh, you could add the floppy board at a later time, and the Fusix Linux distribution. It really is going to need those timer interrupts to do uh, task switching if you wanted to run multiple programs at the same time. Um, so there you have it. Those were two different uh, RC2014s, uh, demoed uh, Linux on them. Thank you for watching my video. Please visit my website at www.smbaker.com for more electronics projects and sand rail stuff. Bye.